Today it's gonna be litty. It's gonna be chatty. It's gonna be. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yvonne, in case you're new here, welcome. So today it's gonna be litty, it's gonna be a chatty one, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be all kinds of drama, sweetness, juicy, everything you might wanna call it. And for some people it might be too much information, but you know, we gotta talk about these things, girls, yeah? So if you're a guy, you might want to click out of this video, but... If you know someone it might help you know or something you can keep watching okay so guys i feel like i should talk about this topic you know it affects us girls you know and um i felt like i should maybe talk about this issue i know maybe i don't know if people have talked about it but i feel i should talk about it so that i can help or educate some of you out there okay I felt I should talk about hygiene and how to keep our kitty cat clean and fresh and smelling all yummy, you know. So let's jump into the video. So guys, I feel like, you know, as girls, everyone has a kitty cat or a coochie or a JJ, whatever you might want to call it. So if you're a girl, you have a kitty cat and you know where your kitty cat is, so... Okay, I'm going to talk about why the kitty cat smells first of all. So anything that throws off the pH of the kitty cat, it's going to make it smell. It's going to make it give some kind of odor. Okay, some of the things that may throw off the pH of the VJJ might be sometimes food, the food that you've eaten, medication, if you've taken antibiotics, poor hygiene can also throw off the pH of the kitty cat sweat also when you sweat hormonal changes might also cause that and infections also if you have any infection it might it might be able to cause that also so today i'm going to give you a number of good hygiene ideas so that you can make the kitty cat free of any smell and you know to feel happy and fresh and everything okay the first thing i'm going to talk about is tight clothing do not wear tight pants tight jeans tight anything anything that is going to make that place not have air air is supposed to flow there freely so if you wear tight things it's going to make air not go to your kitty cat and that is going to cause sweat and sweat is going to cause funny odor okay tight clothing is equals to smelly kitty cat what to talk about is cleaning wash wash your kitty cat wash it well 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 I know some of you might think that, yeah, of course, washing, who, who doesn't wash? I'm going to take... It's very important to wash your kitty cat and you wash it nicely. Do not use soap when you're washing because soap is going to irritate that area. So make sure you don't wash with soap and also when you're washing, just wash around the area and make sure you do not use scented soaps. Scented soaps or perfumed soaps cause that irritation. So make sure you just use white soap and also make sure you use a washcloth when you're washing make sure you use you have a washcloth that doesn't have any colors because of these washcloths that have already been dyed the colors you know they come off they don't stay so when those colors come off they irritate that area so make sure if you're washing you have a white cloth use a white cloth to wash the, you know the vagina itself is self cleansing it, it cleans itself but you need to just wash. There are these people maybe who even have a bath in the night and then just wake up in the morning and feel like they should go. Uh-uh. Girl, you need to wash that. Take even three minutes to wash down there so that not attract bacteria to that place and cause it to smell. Okay. Number three, keep your kitty cat dry. By that I mean when you're from the shower, make sure you dry well with the towel. Even your towel, you're supposed to air it where there's a dry area, not a damp place. Make sure it's dry before you use it. It's supposed to be dry. Don't wear any wet clothing. That is it. And also make sure your underpants are cotton, girl. Cotton. It's nice to once in a while wear these thongs, you know, they 
silk panties and everything for the special occasion but don't be wearing those silk things all the time girl make sure you wear cotton panties the cotton panties absorb sweat another thing that throws off the ph balance of the kitty cat girl is semen yeah you know after doing your thing girl you might want to cuddle you know and sleep but girl no 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 that is not going to do you any good you need to get up go and wash your kitty cat and then you can come back and cuddle if you want to cuddle because if you don't that is going to throw off the ph balance of this of the of the kitty if you stay with it for too long girl so make sure you get up and do what you're supposed to do okay another thing guys is eat foods that are rich in probiotic such as plain yogurt with active cultures this is going to fight the bad bacteria that is in the kitty cat to make it smell nicely and fresh so make sure you eat probiotic foods or you take probiotic supplements that is going to help you a lot another thing don't sleep with your panty okay you need to leave that place to have fresh air you know let the kitty cat breathe let it breathe let it breathe let it breathe let it breathe let the kitty cat breathe make sure it breathes do not do not go to bed with your panties and that is going to help the kitty cat at least breathe you know sweat introduces bacteria into your vajayjay so make sure you sleep without any panties so that the kitty cat can breathe another thing is going to the toilet and i'm going to stress this guys i'm really going to stress it when you go to the toilet using tissue doesn't help anything in fact you're just patting the urine on top when you're using tissue, you're just patting the urine on top. The scent is there, everything is there. So when you leave it like that and you go out, attracting bacteria to your kitty cat. So make sure when you go to make sure when you go to the toilet, have at least wipes, wet wipes to clean. After cleaning, the wetness is uncomfortable, then you can just dry on top with the tissue. Or if you have a bottle that you usually carry, like me, I have a bottle that I usually carry. When I go to the loo, I just take a little bit of water and then wash that area to have helped myself, you know. So make sure you wash with water if you can. But if you can't, just be carrying white wipes so that you can be able to use them when you're going to the loo. Okay. Guys, and this goes without saying, you're supposed to use unscented wipes. Do not use the perfumed wipes and, and whatnot, you know. So another thing is shave. Guys, you're supposed to shave down there. If you don't shave, you're going to sweat. And when you sweat, you're going to increase your chances of attracting bacteria, you know, down there. So make sure you shave so that you feel fresh and clean. So guys, lastly but not least, um, when, you feel, when you feel like you have some type of smell down there, apple cider vinegar is very good for that. You can put two cups of apple cider vinegar into your bath and just sit on it. Apple cider vinegar is antibacterial, you know, and it's just going to bring back the ph of the vjj so make sure you just sit on it and you can add coconut oil too and you can do that maybe for about three days and it's going to re it's going to return your ph balance down there and everything is going to be okay and you're going to smell okay again that is just a good tip that i've been knowing just my tips on how you can improve your hygiene so that you make sure your kitty cat doesn't smell like fish you know <laughs> so that's it for today guys if you like this video please subscribe like share comment let's educate our sisters out there you know and also if you have any other tip that i've not mentioned you can also comment down below i would like also to learn something from you you know and if you'd like me to do a video on how you can smell and taste yummy down there hit down the comment section let me know so that i can do that for you otherwise that's it for today guys and see you in my next video bye love.